Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Reihert. Well, there are plenty of clouds overhead for us today, and it is plenty cool as well. Actual temperatures still below zero for us here as we approach the noon hour. Fortunately, through the next 24 hours, we will see things warming up. However, still cold for us through the duration of the day today. So next 24 hours, we do still have cold highlighted here as wind chills do remain below zero for most of the afternoon, uh, at least in parts of the area. Those that do make it above probably single digits for those feels like temperatures today into early on tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be warming though actually through the overnight hours tonight as a warm front advances through the area. Here's a look at those highs today again, uh, single digits, teens for those actual temperatures feeling about 5, 10 degrees cooler than that. There isn't much of a breeze today, but just enough to knock those feels like temperatures down because they are so cool. I think through the evening hours, we'll actually see those dipping down yet again before that warm front starts to take hold and starts to nudge those temperatures upward. So overnight lows tonight will actually be hit a little bit earlier on rising temperatures through the overnight hours as southerly winds will be taking hold for us and that sends us upwards tomorrow into the 30s and 40s. A big factor in our temperatures tomorrow is snow cover, though. We've talked a lot about that this week. You can see very limited snow along and south of I-80. To the north of that, pretty quickly, you start to see those totals stacking up. Obviously, look out your window wherever you are on this map. That is going to cause a big difference for us here this weekend. Either way, even with snow on the ground, we are looking at much more mild air moving in. Regardless Regardless of the fact that it's very cold today, this is going to feel uh, plenty mild for this time of year. Highs tomorrow in the 30s and 40s across the area. Again, where we had that higher snowpack in the north, we're talking middle 30s for those highs. Less snow on the ground to the south, middle, maybe even some upper 40s trying to sneak into the area. It's going to feel like a bit of a heat wave for us through the day tomorrow. Uh, again, on Sunday, just a couple of degrees cooler for us, but still a fairly nice day for us there with temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. And I think plenty of time, at least in the afternoon hours, above freezing to start melting off a little bit of that snow this weekend. This afternoon, though, that is not going anywhere. I think car wash is going to be a popular place Saturday and Sunday. If you don't have time to do it then, they, there's plenty of time through the next week. We've got plenty of 30s and 40s on the way through the nine-day forecast. We do also have that chance for a little bit of precipitation there on Monday. It's a small chance, but we certainly could see a weak wave moving through a better shot at seeing some of that in the northern half of the TV nine viewing area and then another shot there next Thursday. Yet again, though, they are small chances, only about 30% chance either of those days. So no really uh, big impactful systems moving through the area. Uh, plenty of more mild temperatures setting in for us. It should be able to kind of enjoy that a little bit and without those big systems moving in, uh, letting that snowpack kind of melt in. Right, probably need a time to wash your car, let it get dirty, wash it again. <laughs> exactly, yeah, it'll be that cycle of, uh, yeah. I just washed my car and now I'm getting sprayed all over and now I have to redo <laughs> it again. Exactly, all right, thanks, Jan.